Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Kraus. Let's see what's new this week in the world of civic science. The theme this week is planet Earth. Climate will understandably play a big role in this year's upcoming election in the US. Are you part of a newsroom that is focusing on the upcoming election? Climate on the Ballot is a newsletter to track new topics in climate change and focus on how to integrate them into your election coverage. They will also give advice and share similar work covering climate as it relates to the 2024 election. Sign up for the newsletter at the link in the description below. This last one reaches beyond planet Earth, but it's still an opportunity worth sharing. Do you love planetariums, or are you at least affiliated with one? The International Planetarium Society has launched a new Planetarium Education Research Fellowship. The fellowship offers $5,000 to conduct educational research in planetariums to best figure out how to use planetariums for education. Applications are due the 15th of March and start by July of 2024. Thanks to the SciCommer newsletter for sharing. There is new research on press releases from scientific institutions that focused on ocean climate change. A study examined press releases on ocean climate change and ocean plastics and analyzed how they were framed. From 2017 to 2022, 323 press releases were assessed by researchers. They found that ocean plastic was presented as a biological and health issue with an emphasis on solutions and society's obligations to implement them. However, ocean climate change was framed as an environmental and socioeconomic problem, highlighting politics for solutions. Narrative was only used to personify science or represent scientists. More social dimensions might be needed in future press releases to better engage audiences. Are you tired of the doom and gloom related to climate coverage? Check out Climate Solutions Journalism Tips from the Solutions Journalism Network. There are many tips from expert climate journalists from the Climate Solutions cohort that gave 20 journalists the chance to focus on climate solutions pieces. Four of them are highlighted and give advice like collaborating with frontline communities and highlighting strengths of potential solutions before tackling weaknesses. Thanks to the Nature Beat for sharing. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's edition of the Civic Sci TV News Show. We hope to see you next week.